Hi everyone and welcome to another video. In this one I will be going through how I made the cape for Jasmine. Um, so this is the cape, or oh well, what I'm calling the cape, but it also includes the peacock wing feather things um, that she holds out to the sides and they attach to her fingers. So I'm using two different fabrics for this. I'm using a chiffon that has a like spotty texture um, yeah like a spotty um, metallic thread through it which is this one that we're cutting out now we cut this shape and then inverted the triangle off cut to extend it out as you see here and then for the part that um, it attaches to the hand um, is a is an organza and that's been cut to that circular shape ish it was basically a rectangle and then we just curved the edge to um, sort of match everything and then here I've sewn all of the pieces together um, I'll have a tutorial video coming out next week on how I sewed these pieces together because um, these fabrics, chiffon and organza, really do like to fray. Um, so I'll show you how I sewed them um, by machine, no, no special fancy tools or anything. Um, yeah, as to how I sewed those together so there are no frayed edges. And then as you saw there, I basically chopped off the edges to make everything even and into a nice round shape. And then it was the long and time consuming task of hemming everything. So every single edge was hemmed as you see here. Um, just a basic rolled hem, I guess, where you tuck the raw edge under, tuck it in again so it's concealed and then you just sew over that to hold that down. And um, I tried to keep this as small as possible um, because obviously you don't want a big ugly seam along the edge of what's supposed to be delicate peacock feather wing things. Um, so I did try to keep the um, this hem to be quite small and narrow so it's around I'd say three millimeters wide um, there are some irregularities in my sewing but really no one sees it and I tried not to stretch the organza fabric too much when I was going around curves and such um, but then again I didn't really care and it did sort of create this really cool um, wavy effect where the fabric did gather. Uh, you can see um, just the length of the fabric. Um, it's, it's a lot to hem um, and when I got to the chiffon part I just continued hemming as, as usual and um, yeah fun times and after I finished all of that it was not until many weeks later that I um, started to add the actual peacock feathers, um, you know, to the cape, to the wings. So the cape is now done. Well, all of the things have been sewn on. Um, this is the outside and the inside looks like this but we'll need to paint the insides. So paint all of these with acrylic paints and mix it with some sparkly pigments to emulate the, sparkle, the sparkliness of the outside. And then that way when the cape is lifted from the inside it will also be sparkly, not just the outside. Um, and if you want to see how I sewed all of these down, just watch the pant video. <laughs> so we're going to paint the back of all of these. So we're painting onto the organza and we've just made a mixture of gold paints to achieve 
some sort of gold that matches ish we don't know yet doesn't it's true Pink. it's fine it's fine maybe you always start with that big blob yeah we're gonna paint this big blob and then all of these and we're going to leave a patch for the blue later when all of the gold is dry ready are you gonna do it now yeah okay are you sure yeah so paint uh, using acrylic paint on the organza fabric left this really lumpy, weird texture. So I'm not a fan of it and it's very rough and it doesn't have the same amount of shine and um, like the shiny effect that the sequins have on the other side. So I went back to Spotlight and I spent some more money <laughs> on these laser glitter um things as well as these so they're two different types of gold this one is more of a white gold and then this one is more of a yellow gold and i'm going to mix these two together um probably in like a little container uh, probably that one there that she's pouring mod podge into and then we're going to use Mod Podge as the, the sealant or glue to hold all of all of this together. And then we're going to see how that goes being painted on top of the acrylic paint as well as alone just on top of the sequins. Um, yeah, just to see how that goes. Uh, hopefully it works out. I will update you if, well, I'll update you when we've actually done something. It's good on camera. Um, so we've uh, got a pot of sequins there, so that's mixed uh, sequins, so we've, it's not sequins, glitter. So we've got the yellow gold and the white gold glitter mixed in together, half half. Then we've got the Mod Podge here, and what we've been doing for this section is painting a layer of Mod Podge, and then going in with the glitter over the top, with mixed in with the Mod Podge and trying to flatten it out as best as possible. Um, it is still quite lumpy, um, but we don't know if it's going to turn out well in the yeah, morning. We have no idea how this is going to turn out, so the idea for tonight is to just focus on this feather and then the other side as well, just one, one feather on each arm, so at least they're symmetrical. And if these turn out horribly, then we'll think of another way to, um, to better to, to make the other feathers better than this one. Um, but yeah, the idea of using um, glitter instead of sequined fabric, like the outside, um, is because the sequins on the underside and also the ribbon likes to catch on the fabric a lot. And because this is going to be on the inside and closest to the bodice and the pants, uh, I don't want any of it to catch. So that's why we're using um, glitter and hopefully that will minimize the amount of friction and catching of these peacock feathers against the um, main costume. So it's the next morning now and we figured out a system. Basically um, put Mod Podge down first then put a thick layer of the glitter on top and then try and seal it all down with Mod Podge at the same time and it creates this effect. So this one dried overnight. Um, the glitter does seem to come off a little bit, but I'm hoping that we can scrape off any excess once it's actually completely all dry, um, like all of, all of these ones, and then maybe paint one more final coat of Mod Podge to seal in all, the, all of those little glitter pieces. And as for the, the stems, um, those little branch things. Um, I've worked out a system for that. So what I'm doing with that is essentially the same thing. I've got Mod Podge here and I basically um, paint on the following the ribbon. So like a thin I can't really do this one-handed but you get the idea. that and then oops, 
And then I used this and we've taped off the all of the other holes. And this is a mix of the yellow and white golds. And then I just sprinkle this like so. And then use a dry paintbrush to flick all of those little glitter pieces onto the glue. And then, um, and that's about it really. Um, we'll shake off the excess and hopefully this will all work out. So yeah, that's, that's the one that I did this morning, um, and that's what's happening over there. So yeah, this is probably going to take a few hours, but hopefully it's all worth it. Maybe I should go out this way. Wow, it glitters in the thing. See all the glitter just coming off? It's going to be endless glitter coming off for eternity. It's just so sparkly. <laughs> Are you going to continue or do the washing now? We'll do the washing and then we'll continue. So the other thing I'm doing is painting glue in these middle parts of each of the peacock feathers. Um, so we're doing this first before the teal goes on so we don't have to worry about any more gold glitter after this, hopefully. So I'll do that and then I sprinkle a bit of glitter. Like that. So we're now going to mix some pearl powder pigment, watch podge, mixing fluid and this acrylic paint to create a base colour for this part. Um, we're going to paint that section and then go in with a layer of these little sequins. You put it in, in the other side, the light mm. blue. Well, then we can put sprinkles on top. Oh, that color for the other side, is it? No, for this side. Oh. 
This side. Yeah. Making as sparkly as possible because this looks too flat. Go, Alicia. Wait, what about in here? That's enough. You don't need it to be perfect, trust me. Okay. And I'd rather it don't mix. Okay. Do you, you think this will stick? Yes. You need to be a great bit in the spotlight. Yeah. Mm. Just go for it, just see what it's like. Yeah, it's good. Sticking. Still wet. Okay. It should stick. It's half Mod Podge. More than half. Well, it's definitely sticking. Look at that. Okay. We'll continue doing the others. Do you want to move spots? Yep. So all of the glitter is on. We're going to shake this out and then hang it outside to dry. And I realize I have way, 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 way too many supplies. I thought that this wouldn't be enough, but this is most definitely enough. I don't even know if we'll end up using these. We might use this as sub sort of to create some sort of ombre effect in the center. Oh, that's pretty. That's a really pretty, that's enough. At least you're not gonna have enough. How are your palms? Yeah, it's really hard with this. So now I'm just going over with Bodge Podge and this is to seal all of those sequins in place hopefully so then I won't have sequins falling over everywhere all over my apartment hopefully because at the moment when this moves it leaves a long trail of sequins wherever you walk. Glitter you mean? Oh glitter yes. So I'm leaving it out here to dry um, you can sort of see the Mod Podge there, um, but that will all dry clear. So this one's a bit more dry since this was the first one we did. Um, yeah, you can hardly tell that there was Mod Podge placed all over it. Um, so yeah, just going to let that dry. You can see how it looks in the sun. And then from the opposite side, it looks like that. Um, yeah, the original peacock feathers don't look as amazing <laughs> anymore. Um, the other ones look really nice because they have the gradient effect with the shading of the blue. So there's two different types of blue, whereas this one is just a straight dark blue. But I don't want to change too much just yet. Um, I may add a... Um, add the light blue glitter to the bottom of these but then in that case it would mean that I would also have to do it for the pan feathers which I'm not really up for right now <laughs> um, yeah and the other thing that I need to do is this fabric here um, I wasn't thinking right when I started sewing on these um, but this is going to be on the outside and then the other one on the inside, the more sparkly one on the inside. So this is on the outside, which means that this should be the outside of the fabric, the right side. But unfortunately, the right side of the fabric is actually this side. So I need to chop out this um, and then flip it over so the right side of this fabric is facing outwards. Um, so the right side has more of a shimmery effect whereas the wrong side is quite bluff. So yeah that's another thing that I also need to do and then I need to figure out how I'm actually going to attach the cape to the bodice or just to me in general.